Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Corinne Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. This is Kareem in the morning. Okay, welcome to my show here in the morning. I am Kareem. At this time, I will do my disclaimers. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. The Omega Studio News talk show T and Kareem in the morning. Warning, you must be over the age of 18. At this time, I roll the ads. Okay, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so this here is going to be a short video, but kind of different video. So I don't really have any news in the background, but I'm going to be using the news from my briefing right here, right now. But before I do that, let me just bring in the background, okay? and uh kind of like it like that and boom okay so you guys get into that so uh welcome today is november the 16th 2021 and i'm so excited and so should you uh, i'm basically uh going to be going over my briefing and i want to talk about this and it's just some news that's here that I want to share here on Kareem in the Morning. So, with that being said, uh, my briefing have the top five, and I'm going to start off with the, the fifth one, and I'm going to go up. All right, so this is what's happening in the country right now. All right, so five. Little Nas X, so I'm going to actually read, I'm going to actually read, matter of fact, hold on, let me just do this real quick. Uh, I'm going to actually read the um, the headline, and then I'm just going to give my opinion. Darn, did it again. Good Lord of mercy. I forgot to make the, uh, the disclaimer about the opinions that expressed here on the Omega, on the on the Mega City News Talk Show T and Kareem in the Morning, okay, are my opinions only in jury review, are my opinions only, and that's it, okay? So I'm going to basically give my opinion to the headline that I'm actually going to share with you, okay? Just my, my opinion, right? All right, cool. So number five is Little Nas X uh, reviews his fashion history and gets emotion. And I just actually read something about Little Nas X actually felt uh, some type of remorse for the baby about what's going on in his situation. And I think if I can recall, the police had to be called to the baby house to remove a ex-girlfriend or a girlfriend and a baby. So that I'm just recalling off that that on the top of my head, but that's that's something that I heard. But my thing is this: wasn't 
in my opinion, my, my thing is this, wasn't they was all down little, uh, wasn't they all down the baby's throat when it came to the whole comment and fashion and uh, how he delivered his uh, words of choice at his concert? They told him that he had to meet with the LGBTQ and the INA advisory people to get the, the, the thing situation. People blast them online, social media, news, and print. Now, little Nas X feels sorry for him or feels some type of way for him. And he was all caught up in that little whole combine. I'm just saying. Um, and then here. Right next to number five is number four. I didn't even peek that. The baby calls cops to help him kick girlfriend, girlfriend out, out of the house. And there's a video up here, and it's shared on our social media network where uh, you see the baby. But my thing is this: again, they was just now, they was just down this man's throat about the comments he made, and now they are feeling some type of remorse for him. So I'm not, I'm just saying. So whatever that situation is, I guess he recorded it live. He wanted the whole world to see it because in any situation, I wouldn't be recording anything if I had a situation of putting my ex-lover or lover out of the house. I would record that. That's not for anybody's business. You feel me? But I can understand where he's coming from. This is just my opinion. You know, maybe he just feels like maybe I can just go ahead and put this out in the spotlight and then maybe everything else that already over the weight that's over the top of my head, I can just, you know, see if that can just be pushed away. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, maybe he just needs another another storyline to put out there, because right now, maybe he's fed up and had a lot been, been scrutinized, you know, and deals been taken away from him and, and, and money has been lost. You know, it's time to do other things. And I guess this shift, the focus somewhere else. So he's recording this video of him and his girlfriend, I believe, and the cops are called. You know, I don't know if you feel like you would feel uh, big and bad and bold to personally, you know, put this business out on social media. It's stupid. Number three. So I do know, and I was actually reading this somewhere else, uh, I do know that come 2022 to ring in the New Year's in New York City, they're saying that the New Year's uh, uh, festival that goes down in New York every year, well, we didn't have it last year because of the pandemic, this year they're saying it's open. Ladies and gentlemen, they have opened the fact that they are now going to return to New York City with Dick Clark special New York New Year's Eve spectacular right there, December 31st, ringing in the New Year's again. Now listen, now my now this here will actually tie into this story here because this talks about the COVID, the coronavirus and the booster who's eligible for it and uh, uh, ahead of the busy traveling season because we got Thanksgiving and we have Christmas. So my thing is this, if, if New York is under a uh, policy and procedure and they're about to elect a whole different mayor come 2022, uh, they are trying to get people vaccinated. They're putting restrictions on places where you must be vaccinated uh, to uh, open restaurants to a percentage. Uh, you have to be vaccinated to enter into bars or into the clubs or into the gyms. So I get it. But how does this, how does this actually ties in, okay, to that extravaganza that is gonna go down on December 31st. The New Year's Eve party that is gonna go down in New York. They're opening the doors. The floodgates has been opened. So unvaccinated, vaccinated, doesn't matter. People are gonna be standing there tight, tight, and it just 
brings me back to the Astro concert with Travis Scott, you know, and how all those people was crumpled and people lost their lives. But my thing is this. I'm not saying that it's not going to be like chaotic like that because, you know, they're saying that, you know, this year is going to be very much tight, tight, tight security. I mean, they pay probably millions and probably billions of dollars for the security around Times Square when the ball is dropping. I mean, they spend so much money there. No matter of fact, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Let me put that in. Speaking of the, the ball dropping, I remember last time, the last uh ball dropping in New York. They were they had the nerve to cover it up. Uh no 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 that wasn't for that. That wasn't for that. That was for the Christmas tree lighting. Damn so sure was. I know it was for something where I seen in the news where they had to cover it up and anyone nobody seen it but oh yeah it was it was the Christmas tree lighting and then the the um the 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 ball dropping it was just the nurses and the first responders and the uh, FBNYs and all those people coming down there, it was off. But this year is going to be open. The floodgates has been open, okay? So my thing is this, how does that tie into where you're trying to get the city back to how it was, but in, in light to mandate situations to get people working, get people back into society, and getting back to you know normal normal normalcy. So you're gonna open up the, the floodgates on that day. People are gonna come in, and I know that there's gonna be rules and regulations. Okay, probably no. Um, if it's raining, probably no umbrellas. If it's cold, you probably can't bring no chairs. You got no book bags. Certain things, you know. I mean, it's not like you're gonna say you gotta be vaccinated because it's like oh, you definitely got to have a mask on. Okay, you definitely have to have a mask on because if you're gonna be tight close to each other like that, it's like, damn, who's coughing? And then it's gonna be cold. So I mean, even if the if because you know the cold does play a big significant fact and hold a significant weight when it comes to germs and viruses, because when it's cold, you know, it, it actually gets rid of it. Really, honestly, compared to being in a in a room. With hot air and someone's coughing and got germs and you know that stuff is just sticking everywhere you know it's just sticking 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 but anyway uh so yeah so the COVAC number three the COVAC booster eligibility uh expands to all new york adults ahead to the busy traveling season so i'm saying if you got your vaccinate vaccination shot uh and you want to get the booster they have online where if you are eligible, you should go sign up now, okay? Number two, okay, they are saying that um, Biden, now, you know, I normally talk about the president of the United States of America, and I know before uh, when I used to talk about the things going on in the United States, I didn't really want to talk about the person, I didn't want to say that person's name, okay? But I'm really comfortable with saying Biden's name. Biden and Harris. But I've just been hearing so much, so much about Biden and Harris to the point where I'm not going to say I want to cry. And it's not going to say I want to change my Democrat Republican because I'm either war. Okay. I'm an independent. Okay. I am independent and I'm good with that. Okay. Thanks to Oprah. So I, I, I feel comfortable saying Biden and Harris. So Biden. Has now they now just now got a infrastructure bill passed for the country, this great country of the United States of America. But my thing is this: opinions. Remember my opinions here on the Kareem in the Morning Show is just my opinions only. Okay, way overdue. Way overdue. Just way overdue. I don't want to hear it. I said it then and I'll say it again, bitch. Way overdue. We have the most fucked up infrastructure. I hate to say that. I, I really hate to say that. 
I really hate to say it, but we way overdue. I say that these people are investing their technology in phones, cell phones. Our infrastructure should have been up to date as fast advanced as our cell phones. So when the point when you go in to the train with your advanced phone that we have now, you could be able to just tap that shit right on the door, pay for your ticket, open your door, go to your seat and sit down. It is what it is. You ain't got to deal with no ticket carrier, ticket agent, nothing. Okay, get the fuck up out of the seat and get the fuck up on your way. Because your phone and everything happens. Wait, isn't that what they have on the bus? That you can just tap your phone and go? Right? It pays for your fare? The train. The infrastructure. The bill is way overdue. They should have been started passing bills decades ago. You go to other countries over there. China, Japan. They have fast, fast trains i'm talking about man if one of those trains was over here in the country by time if it was set up we should have had a train probably before the millennium hit 2020 should have been from california to new york city fuck the accelerator man i'm so i'm so serious we are way overdue on that bill. And I can understand that the Biden and Harris administration is doing their best to do what they can do to do this. But listen, I don't think that that's going to solve the issues that we're dealing with today. It is way overdue. And I'm saying right here on the Kareem in the Morning Show, that bill is way overdue. And I think it's way overdue. Why? Because they are continuing to argue in Washington. Every time I turn on the news, the breaking news, I always hear is always arguing, 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 arguing. And I'm like, bitch, when y'all gonna get to the real situations? When y'all gonna get to the real cause? When y'all gonna get to the real problems, the real issues? They still talking about the damn insurrection. They still talking about that man that they took out of office last year they talking about stuff that is old <laughs> old they need to be talking about stuff that we are dealing with today and before i move on to number one okay because we do have a number one here and i want to get my opinion on that too and it's the top story okay i want to say shout out to nay love Okay, shout out to Nay Love because Nay Love, when I think about Nay Love and I love being on the Nay Love show, she always gives me the effect of the solo power, the soul. I call them, I call her my solo power woman. She is definitely, definitely a person that you want to go and get your life on her channel if you went to guarding and if you're into, uh, Oh, we can just say that. Gardening and 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 energy consumption, energy savings. Okay, she is probably the only person that I follow on social media that's dealing with gardening and also with solo. When I'm talking about solo, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about how you can go out and get solar panels and place it on your home and actually get rid of your electricity bill and actually use your solar panels okay get this hold on get this hold on get this use your power and also be able to give some more power to other people and get paid for it hello somebody hello somebody so shout out to Nalo because every time when I think about solo power, solo power panels, I think about her and I think about and I go watch her videos because I also love the garden. I can't really do much in garden because I'm, uh, I'm I, I don't have those accessories like how she has. 
But I have a plant, and I have a plant. I take very good care of it. You understand? That's my baby. I found it when I was running, and it was just sitting there. And I actually said, "Wait a minute, is it? We gonna get rid of this?" Yes, I saved the plant's life. Okay, I saved the plant's life from the garbage can. Okay, so I took the plant. And I brought it home with me. I ran for an hour. I brought the plant home for me. And every day it's just been there. And it's been good to me. And I've been good to it. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Okay. So my thing is this. Uh, solo panels. Get your life from they love. She actually uh, supposed to be doing a critical thinking on Thursdays. But I think she's going to like convert that with her hall. And convert it with her uh, guarding. And convert it with all her um, uh, panels, because she said she was putting the panels up and doing her thing. But shout out to Nay Love, okay, right here, right now. Okay, and I will go ahead and be back with my number one. Roll it. Okay, so I am back with my number one. Now for number one. And we are ringing it right here right now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the jury has now received the paperwork to now start the deliberations in the Cal Red House murder trial. Now, who is Cal Rittenhouse? I say his name because his name is everywhere. He didn't do anything to me. I just want to say this. I didn't see any videos, but I do know that videos are out there about what happened the day those people were killed. And this was in a time of a moment where a lot was happening in America. Uh, we just had George Floyd killed. We had uh uh riots we had looting we had a disaster in our country and from what i know this young man okay this young man because he was young uh had a firearm and I don't know the laws because, you know, this is the reason why the infrastructure bill is way overdue because of the whole states and their laws and their governors and their, uh, you know, Congress and reps and all that. It's just nays and yays. This is really why we don't get shit done. And, 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 and this is why I'm saying it ties into that because I don't know the laws in this man's state on whether or not on how he can carry a firearm or not whether or not it's prohibited or not but i can tell you one thing ladies and gentlemen right here on this show that the judge threw out a confession or some type of evidence that was dealing with a gun charge so my opinion is here on the show is that from what i'm seeing here is that the jury people i really believe honestly i really believe they're going to find him not guilty i think they're going to find him not guilty and they're going to find him in favor that he was defending himself. That's all I gotta say about that. It's a difference. Come on, Kareem. That's all you have to say, Kareem. That's all you got to say. There's a difference, Kareem. That's all you have to say.
sometimes I have to challenge myself on wanting to continue to say the words out of my mouth. But I'm going to go ahead and listen. I'm going to follow. I'm going to follow it. Because, you know, the saying is, what you say can be used against you in a court of law. What you say can be used against you in a court of law. In this man's case, they are trying to prove that the evidence that, and, and you know, this, come on, come on, come on, that the evidence that they have against this man and what they're trying to prove that he defended himself and surely in goodness that this man did not intend to kill those people. Again, this is my opinion. And that what he did was truly factor on their part or what anybody else would have done. Because if it wasn't such, they want to know why the video is being recorded. It's almost like a movie. Like this is like we, we're setting it up. Like we're going to record this. You know what's about to go down, bitch. You know what's about to go down. That's the only way you're going to record. Oh, because, no, when I seen the video, I was like, you know what? Look, man, somebody go down over there. They zooming in and boom. Look, man, I understand. Come on, Kareem. That's all you got to say. You really want to get that out. I do. I do. No, 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 no. Okay. Sometimes you got to listen to yourself. You got to follow yourself. You got to love yourself. I love myself. That's why I got my ring on. It's just my love for myself. I got to. Yes. Okay. So that was number one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the jury deliberations uh, in his homicide trial for Kyle Rittenhouse has been turned over to the jury people. And at any time when that breaking news happens, we will deliver the case right here, right now. But here, I say that he's going to be found not guilty because that important evidence that that judge threw out played a weight for the prosecutor and when that was slashed from evidence i don't know what else the jury is going to go off of i'm just saying i'm just saying for those who follow the case i'm just saying okay so, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Kareem in the Morning. Actually, this one's actually been good. I want to thank everybody for watching, everybody who's been showing up for Kareem in the Morning. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really have a, uh, a home area where I want to place it at, but I do want to say that uh, I'm looking at maybe uh, YouTube or probably like Facebook, but I, that's what I've been posting it up on Facebook. But I try not to make it longer because it's just what it is. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. For more information, you guys can visit the pod page. Take care. Bye-bye.